<sighs> Finally. Class is over with. Hey. We need to talk. Meet me on the rooftop after school. Ah, oh, you made it. Honestly, I didn't know if you were even going to show up. So, listen. Yesterday I saw you with the uh, new kid from our class. You guys stopped in where I work at, but you didn't see me because I was in the back yesterday. Anyways, besides the point, what were you guys even doing? So you were just showing him around town, so why didn't any of the other girls do it? I mean... Ever since he got here, all the girls have just been fawning over him. Even you. What do you mean that's not fair? You can't tell me that I'm wrong. I mean, ever since he's been here, almost every day, you guys been hanging out. Who cares if I'm overreacting? You know what, I'll just see you later. Don't even worry about me. I'll just see you tomorrow. Huh? <sighs> How did you even find me here? Do I really always come here when I'm upset? <sighs> Looks like I'm finding a new spot. Anyways, what's up? What do you mean, drop the act? I'm fine. Actually, no, I'm not fine. Because ever since the new guy came here, we've been hanging out less and less. Honestly, I feel like you're starting to forget about me. And I'm not gonna lie, it's killing me. Because guess what? You were my friend first. Not his. He's just some punk who just showed up. And I'm not going to lose my best friend to this punk. Honestly, I don't care if you like him either. Because you know what? You're mine. Did you forget freshman year? Back when we were both new and had no friends. We were each other's first friends. Did you forget the promise that I made you? I promised you that no matter what, I would be by your side, and I know that by junior year, we were drifting apart, and it was just killing me. I did everything I could to bring us back together. That's why this year, our senior year, I got back in touch with you, you know, to see how you were. I know you have a lot of friends now, you're quite popular, but it's just... I miss you. I miss my best friend. And then just seeing you with this punk who just moved here. You know, you all over him. Like you guys were together or something. It just hurt. And I know you guys aren't together, but it still hurts. And I'm not gonna lie. I don't want you to go anywhere with him ever again. I know I'm being selfish, but I have my reasons. What are my reasons? It's because I like you, you dummy. Has it not been that obvious? How hard can it be to see that I like you? <laughs> Me over here getting upset because you're hanging out with some other guy. I mean, that should have been the biggest clue. And then the first thing that should have pointed it out was back in freshman year, that promise I made you. <sighs> I'm glad I could get that off my chest. You know, I miss this though. Us having our talks just sitting under the night sky and quite frankly this is gonna sound cheesy but 
looking at all these stars and how bright they are, none of them come close to you. You shine brighter than any star. And I don't mean your looks. I actually mean your personality. You're just so amazing and caring. And that's what I love most about you. So whatever you do, don't change. Anyways, I have to get going. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Night. Hey, hey, everyone. It's Cynical here. I just want to quickly say, hey, guys. Um, sorry for the audio being short. I did that on purpose because I want to leave it open for a part two, if that's what you guys want. So let me know down below. And then I also just want to quickly say thank you guys for being patient with me. As you guys know, I did just move back home, and I've just been under a lot of stress, but I'm all good now. I'm ready to get back to it, so if you guys also want to leave me some more ideas, that'd be great. I'm always looking at my comments, so anyways, I hope everyone's doing good. Take care. Love you. Bye. Mwah.